What about the humiliating defeats? You have an answer there. What's the point of writing the From question in? This question asks about the Premier League discussions to redistribute. What's the point of writing the question in? Yes, this is a question about the ongoing discussions with regards to distribution of income uh, amongst the clubs. Rubbish! Ladies and gentlemen, I declare the meeting. Let Danny Rubbish. ask the question! Danny! Rubbish! Danny, ask the question! There is, there is a film which I hope you'll share tomorrow. Rubbish! Danny, ask! Okay, okay. Danny, ask! Danny, ask it. Thank you. Rubbish. When you write in, if you've got a problem, and you can have more last week, you can The meeting, ladies and gentlemen, is now closed. Can we have a vote? Before the 21st time to speak to you, it's an immense privilege for me. And uh, the only thing I can say, I dedicate 99% of my lifetime to try to make you happy. Looking at what happened today, it's not easy. You have at least uh, to concede that. But my resolution, my determination is stronger than ever. And I uh, would just like to share with you a little bit because I have a 21 years observation of where our game is going, the evolution of a society, the evolution of a club as well. And I think it's important that uh, I give you my feeling about that. I feel that. A football club is about the past, the present, and the future. On what we see now, the evolution of, of the game, football is always ahead of a society. And the society follows always the way of the game. And what is for sure, in our game, the weight of the past, the weight of the future, has been kicked out of the game. The weight of the present has become heavy, heavier, and only the only one thing that people want. The present, that means for me, it is here and now. Win or out. It's acceptable, but I always guided this club with one idea. But the club is first for me about values, about values that have been created by the past. When I look at photos of the 1930s, of the 1950s, of the 1960s, they have not always won, but with some pride, some happiness in the mind of these people for the sense of belonging to this club. And I think it's important, and I must say I've been guided all my life here by respecting these values. And I serve this club with integrity total commitment, but as well, with one sense, I will never betray these people who have created that, these values. And we have to be proud of that, and not to forget that our club is first about that. Because when you travel, if you look at our trip, Arsenal is a highly respected club. Not only because we have won the last game, or because we have lost the final, but because we all present something that is not, that is exceptional. It is that kind of tradition, of class, that is in our mind. And we have not to forget that when we speak about our club. The present, for me, is about lifestyle, it's about style of playing, it's about winning, it's about trophies, it's about winning every single game. And I don't, don't think that I don't know that. And I believe that is an essential part of my job. But I like to believe as well that people are happy that when they come to a football game, when they come to the Emirates, they see football. And I try always to respect that, to give happiness to people in the style of play, and as well, of course, to winning our games. I believe, because of the weight of the present, what is the danger of the fans today, I don't question our fans' commitment. They are absolutely exceptional, and I respect that for 
absolutely 20 years, every single time I walk out there and the stadium is sold out. I have a huge respect for them. But I believe as well the danger today is as, as soon as you leave one game, lose one game, there's a preconceived idea in the mind of people, oh, we are not good enough, we're not doing, and the environment of the club becomes negative. I just want to ask you something, as a, having been such a long time here, be behind the team. We accept the verdict at the end of the season, but we want you to be behind us. There's something special in this team. I, rec I acknowledge completely that you had uh, lost two games, but you should not have three games that you should not have lost. But I think as well, we have a huge potential and a huge desire in the team to do well. And we have a chance. The future as well is for me important. We speak about the investment that we made and uh, that is absolutely vital. Uh, we give opportunities. Part of our DNA is to give a chance to young people. And uh, we have invested a lot of money in our structures. And I keep standing by the young players. You need some strength today. Because I, I just told you that nobody forgives you to lose a game. But to give a chance to a young player, you know that you have more chances to lose a game than if you put an experienced player in. And that strength is absolutely needed to prepare the future of our club. And I think I will want to continue that. What the modern game has as well created, like in a society, is that there's a concentration of the financial power in a very small amount of clubs. And this financial power has become absolutely huge. What has it provoked? A concentration of the best world players in a very small number of clubs. It kills a little bit the unpredictability of football. And uh, if you look at the longer period, if I ask you, can Aston Villa today win the European Cup? Certainly would say, are you, are you joking? But it shows you a little bit with the distance, but there's a few, a few number of clubs who have enormous resources and can concentrate the few, the best players in the world in, in that club. And there's nothing to do. We are speaking here about states of clubs. It's not anymore about individuals. It's about states. And we have to find a way to structure that competition and to find a way to compete with these clubs. And part of it is, of course, to stick to what we think is our strength traditionally, is uh, be together, give a chance to young players, improve the quality of what we do with our young players, and continue to favorize the integration of, of the future players in our club. We had a good example the other night, but it's not enough. We need to do more and better and find a way to compete with the better clubs. I would just like to finish about my personal situation because there were some concerns as well. I must tell you, my hunger, my commitment is bigger than ever. But I accept uh, that, of course, when you have been a long time at the club, everybody always questions that. I question myself a lot, don't worry, to be better every single day. And I would sit down every year with my board to see where I go from there. But I just would like to ensure you that my hunger to be successful with this club is absolutely huge. And no matter what happens one day, I will always love this club forever and be an eternal fan of the qualities of this club. Thank you very much. Have a good day.